Oh yeah, egg carton. Still there. You know the vibes. Three weeks later, that egg carton has not. I thought that was biodegradable. It's great to debate, but yeah, I was gonna try to say it backwards real fast. No, it's impossible. Anyway, what's up, guys? I'm Walker Walk on Wheels. If you haven't been here and you don't know the vibes, you're missing out, bro. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you do enjoy the video because we're pushing 3,000 subs. Once we get to 3,000, we're doing a face reveal, baby. You already know the vibes. Anyway, it's a chill day after work. Nothing too, nothing too crazy, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. I'm feeling my yapper today. This is gonna be a good video. Cause sometimes when I turn the camera on and I can yap for real, that's when I know it's gonna be a good video. What are we gonna go over today? Well, first of all, we're gonna have some fun a little bit for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna talk about something which you guys probably already seen in the title, which a lot of people probably want to know. If you've never modded a motorcycle, then you probably don't know anything about it. And that's what this video is gonna be about for y'all that want to know uh, advantages, disadvantages. Things like that, things that it could harm, things that are better off left alone, you know, that's a lot of concerns that people have, so I thought, you know, being someone who did almost every mod you can do on a Grom except for stretch it out and put a big bore on it, uh, I think I could give you some information, you dig? <laughs> Say you're going to me, baby, you dig? It's beautiful, it's warmed up a little bit, and you know, it was cold, it's not cold anymore. young lad young lad balling for real yo traffic jam up in it I mean in it. anyway it's later in the day it's not too I like to set the scene for y'all I feel like sometimes if I explain the scene what time of day what's the temperature what the weather is you know you kind of get more of a immersive dude that guy was looking hard that guy was staring hard. Oh, he broke his neck looking at the Grom. That's just what the Grom do, bro. That's what the Grom do. I know y'all are probably wondering, how many ladies do you get with the Grom? Dude, you have no clue. Zero. So, uh, don't get your hopes up. Don't buy a Grom hoping to get ladies. They might laugh at you. I had one lady tell me she liked my scooter and that it was cute. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It's not getting you, you need to get you a bigger motorcycle if you want to. Oh, keep our hands on the wheels, guys. Stay focused here. Day by day, there's just more Halloween uh, decorations that people are popping out, which is dope. It's uh, what's the day? September 20th, so it is almost October. We're riding we're riding baby we're gonna ride all the way through the winter i don't even care i'll go out in my eskimo suit we're riding in the winter or we'll do something different you know there's other ways to for us to chill you feel me yeah eh oh my camera doesn't die i didn't charge it so that's what we're dealing with today Let's see if we can stop here i usually stop here for videos get us a thumbnail kind of go over at least the beginning of I'm not gonna stop here. There's somebody here. Screw that, bro. I'm scared. I don't want people looking at me for real. I'm trying to find a parking lot. Look at those leaves. Oh, yeah. It's fall, baby. Technically, I guess. Is it fall when the leaves start to fall? Is that when it's fall? I mean, or is it like when the hamster comes out and is scared of his shadow? That's when it's fall. I don't remember. So. Y'all are gonna have to jog my memory. While I, whilst I enjoy myself around this cave, brother. Whilst I enjoy myself quite a bit. Yeah. I'm free. Free falling. There's a church. I mean, they're all church parking lots. This is the fourth church that we've seen on this drive right here. I want to stop there. It's kind of sketchy too, not going to lie. We could just find some cool area. I think there's a place. I'm not sure though. Anyway. 
in either way I could probably start talking about it right now so most of y'all if you're either you bought a used Grom or you got a brand new Grom I, I bought a brand new Grom and as soon as it hit me you know as soon as I got it I had all my aftermarket stuff on it exhaust handlebars uh, TST Industries flush mount uh, lights in the front which are these the, the the original ones are ugly oh dude I just hold on a second a little pop action anyway I got distracted bro because I accidentally did that but I did all that I did the the fender delete that's the first thing you need to do if you're gonna mod anything get rid of that fender because that is ugly the dolphin tail defender is defender fender is ugly bro start with that next thing you're gonna do is probably your exhaust because I mean everybody wants exhaust you want to sound cool I got the Yoshi on there I love this thing the Yoshi Mirror exhaust it's expensive it's probably like 700 bucks but it's dude it's worth it it's a, it's the full exhaust it's not just a slip on you can get the slip on but if you're gonna spend that much money you might as well do the slip on I think those two are worth it no not yeah yeah those two I think the Fender Delete, 100%, money is justified without a doubt. Exhaust, money is justified without a doubt. Unless your cops are really strict or something. I could see that not like jiving with the police or something. Which, or, or if you're in a neighborhood, you know, you know what you need to do. But the exhaust, they're going to be able to hear you a lot better. It's a safety thing. Like there's been a lot of times where the I feel like somebody has heard me coming up to the left or right of them with the exhaust and that's why they they slow down or stop you know it's just another thing where somebody could see you or hear you coming from like a different sense you know so that's justified as well handlebars that's up to you i mean handlebars are like i guess that's just preference right the the, the normal handlebars are really skinny and they don't come up as much i feel like or roll back as much but uh, yeah, that's just on you. That's preference. That does not hurt anything whatsoever. So, yeah, you can do that if you want to. You do need the mirrors gone. The, the stock mirrors are absolutely garbage. They come up here. The little Mickey, people call them Mickey Mouse ears. Terrible. Terrible. So, you're going to want to get some of these bar ends. Uh, there's videos on that, you know. But you're going to want to find you a good pair, though. There's all kinds of different Amazon. There's good kinds. There's... And I'm going left, not right. There's all, there's just unlimited stuff for those. Those are a definite plus. I feel like they're better. And you can adjust them more, kind of, a little bit. I don't know. Just, yeah. Those are just viable. They don't mess anything up. A lot of time, in a lot of states, you only have to have one mirror. So, I think I only have to have one mirror. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. The flush mount of lights and tail light and everything, the fender delete, all that. Oh! Oh yeah, that's another thing. You have to get the integrated tail light if you get the fender delete, so it has the turn signals inside the uh, what you, uh, call wallet. You know what I'm saying? What you call it? Inside the the tail light. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? My yapper might not be working as much as I had pre previously predicted. The only thing that I did performance-wise with the bike, and this is where it kind of gets. I mean, I feel like the performance stuff kind of gets sketchy. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, no, it's not even, I've never had anything happen. You know, I've, I've done all kinds of tunes and intakes and exhaust and this and that and this and that. They're going to be like, oh, I've never had a problem. Yeah, well, you're lucky because, let's be honest, when a, a Honda Grom or like any other motorcycle on the road was made for something specifically you know like they were made for a certain amount of power a certain amount of gas gas ratio you know rich or lean it was made specifically for itself i mean that you weren't aren't supposed to adjust anything so to say that any performance mods aren't going to harm your uh grom is just not true like it, it will for sure it could it could not but it's going to be better or worse than if you didn't do any performance mods whatsoever so okay w thumbnail sorry guys i had to lock in for a second so yeah 
when it comes to performance mods if you get an exhaust you'll probably be all right i mean it might especially a slip on you should be good with slip on but if you get full exhaust like i have you're probably going to need to get yourself some kind of tune just to make sure that your fuel ratio and everything is good because that could damage stuff for sure if you do an intake and an exhaust you for sure need to get a tune or you're going to be running like i think rich i might be wrong but you're gonna be no lean i think it's lean anyway but i do i have the intake and i have the exhaust and a tune that i have is a dhm tune and uh they set it up you send your you, they send uh, 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 you send your ecu into them and they uh you know you tell them what kind of exhaust you have what kind of intake you have and they t they give you a flash accordingly tune flash whatever but those little things can definitely affect the onagron i mean it is a workhorse of a motor and really reliable but when you start tweaking on it and doing stuff it's not you're you're getting rid of that reliability so you know when it comes to performance mods you're kind of doing it all at your own risk so take that with however you want to take it but that's the truth especially when you're opening up the if you're cracking a seal any kind of seal on the motor that has never been cracked before you're risking something going wrong so don't just get a honda grom and you have no experience working on stuff and you just start taking your honda grom motor apart that's insane because especially if you're not experienced you could really get yourself in a situation that you probably would not be uh happy with and i, I see a lot of people they do the cams and they do the uh the big bore kit and it always almost always a lot not always I, I, don't get me wrong not always but a lot of the times it ends up blowing up and that's just because you're putting too much you're putting too much on that motor that's not made for that so should moral of the story should you do honda grom mods without a doubt but the honda grom mods that you do also should heavily depend on your situation heavily depend on your experience heavily depend on how much money you have how much time you have all that all that jazz anyway it's been a sweet little video i hope anything that i had to say about it helped you at least a little bit about the situation and uh i'm gonna go home because i just worked a whole day at work i'm tired it's the afternoon i'm gonna go chill y'all should do the same peace